Bridge Operator Console is an intended console style software solution designed to help manage call flow. In this demo, I'll be playing the part of Melissa Wendt, extension 7601. The soft phone you see in the bottom right hand portion of your screen is extension 7012 or Susan Larson. That's the user I will be transferring the majority of the calls to. Bridge Operator Console provides call control functionality, including the ability to be able to answer a ringing phone. In this example, I'll use the answer button to answer this call. Bridge Operator Console obviously supports multiple calls. And as you can see, if we have a second call ringing, we can just double click it to answer that call, putting the first call on hold. There are several ways to transfer a call in Bridge Operator Console. The most basic is using drag and drop functionality. As you see, I've searched for Susan Larson, and now I can just click and drag a call to her. As you see, she's answered the call, and we'll show that status as well. Another way to transfer a call is using a double-click function. While we're on a call, we can simply double-click to transfer this call to another user. And as you can see, now we see the status of that user talking as well. Bridge Operator Console also supports supervised transfers. To perform a supervised transfer, simply right-click on the extension and select Start Supervised Transfer. This will put the current call on hold and make a call to Susan Larson. As you can see her phone ringing from us. When she answers, we're able to talk to her and let her know she has a call from Wholesale Bakery, at which point she can decide whether or not she would like to take this call. If she says yes, we simply say yes and complete the transfer. If she decides she can't take the call, we can say no and return ourselves to the call with Wholesale Bakery. In this case, we'll say yes and allow the call to complete through. As you can see, our status is now gone and she's talking to Wholesale Bakery. Groups of extensions can be formed with extension groups. It makes it easy to flip between various different offices, departments, or locations to find people or monitor certain groups for call activity. Our search function will search for any part of anyone's first name, last name, or phone number. So searches can be used to narrow things down very quickly to find the particular person a call may be for and route that call appropriately. One of the unique things the Bridge Operator Console offers is interaction with the telephones. And I'll demonstrate this using our Park 4 function. Our Park 4 uses the actual phone system parking position, but adds supplemental data to it stored in our database. For example, if this call is for Susan Larson, we can simply park this call for her. And we'll see that call go into the parking lot with information as to who we parked it for, when it will time out, etc. The nice part is, we can push a message to the phone letting Susan know that she has a call parked from this person in this park position and parked by this user. At this point, all she has to do is lift her telephone handset to unpark the call and talk to them. As you can see, she's not speaking with them. <clears throat> Where this becomes very useful is if she's on the phone. Without us having to decide for Susan which call is more important, we can simply park another call for her. As you see, it doesn't interrupt the existing call she's on. She's still talking to that user, but now she's been notified that she has another call parked. If she so decides this call may be more important, she can ask the first caller to hold at this point and take the second call. Now at this point, she has options where she could conference the two together, complete the first call and return to the second call, or handle it however she decides, without us having to decide that for her. In addition to Part 4, we also have the ability to send messages directly to a phone or a group of phones. For example, if Susan is on a call, and we just want to notify her she has a visitor at the front desk, we can send a message to her phone. We have the ability to schedule this in the future, which is handy for group paging. If you want everyone to perform a certain task at 4 o'clock, you can send this to a group of phones. 
In this particular case, we're going to send the message right now. As you can see, the message has now arrived at her phone, so she can see that without interrupting her call. When she's done viewing it, she can simply click Exit to clear that. We also have the ability to voice page her phone, and this will work whether she's on the, call, on the phone or not. Simply open up paging, and you can see her phone is now in receive mode, and she can hear us talking. If we have a longer message, we can give ourselves more time, and when finished, we can hit the end now, thus releasing her phone from paging. She's on the phone. This will whisper page through her speaker, so the caller cannot hear it, only she can. This is also available in our group paging and messaging add-on. If you decide you need that add-on, you have the ability to create both voice and text groups of phones, and the ability to send messages to groups that you have defined on the server. For example, if we want to page a group of phones, now several phones are listening to our message. We can also assign a default paging group here if we purchase that add-on. That also allows us to open up and talk to a group of default phones. One of the other connectors that is offered with Bridge Operator Console is a medical connector. This allows it to interface with any HL7 formatted EMR, HMR system and keep room and patient information up to date. In this particular case, if we were a hospital and we wanted to transfer to a patient named Jeff Sampson, we can certainly search for part of his name and thus find whatever room he's in and transfer the call without having to know ourselves or to look it up anywhere else. We also have the ability to search for any room number. So if we want to look for room 4007, even though that's not the extension, we're able to find it and quickly transfer a call there. This will also provide information about particular physicians or staff that may be on call. Perhaps we need to transfer a call to the on-call physician that evening. This will quickly show us which one that is and give us the ability to transfer to that person. One of the other nice features is our DTMS dialer function will actually let you connect with any sort of paging or other device that would want a callback number. And rather than having to type that in on the phone, you can simply specify digits to send when you're on the call and send them. Another connector service that we offer is a connector with Microsoft Exchange. This will provide information about a customer, or excuse me, an extension's availability based on their Exchange calendar. As you can see, we now know that this person is going to be out of the office from 12 to 1, and we can tell a caller that they'll return at 1 o'clock. This information is kept blind from us, other than the location, to protect the privacy of the user, but still give us enough information to disseminate to any callers that may want return date. External phone numbers can be found in our My Address book, and Active Directory numbers can be found in our Active Directory users. Both are searchable as well, and searches in both cases will actually carry through. So if we've searched for Joe, that search will carry through to all of our My Address book extensions. As you can see, there are several in the Exchange contact. And if I look for John, I find some in some other categories. And I'm able to create categories and share them with other users as well. The same applies for Active Directory. Searches also carry through here as well, where I'm able to find users in other call manager trunks or users on my local one and be able to transfer to any numbers that are listed therein. This concludes our Bridge Operator Console trailer video if you'd like more information or to have a live demo with questions and answers, please visit our website at www.bridgeoc.com.